Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PTQ.com. Today I'm going to talk about finding who's logged into a machine uh, using a new uh, PowerShell scanner with the product. Hope you have that installed. You've been you've been testing it out. Once again, as I often do, I stole this script from uh, Nader Colby. It's within our GitHub, which hopefully there'll be a link down below. On that one, you can go there. Uh, there's six or seven examples on what you can use. Uh, this is just uh, one of the, one of my favorites. I figured we could break it down and see how it all works. All right, uh, so this one, obviously, zero is you could be messing with the event log, uh, instance ID 4624, which is the, the login thing. Uh, if you don't have a policy set in group policy saying keep these for X amount of time, you're probably not going to find a lot of useful information. Circular login is just going to loop around and, and wipe those out. So it definitely is going to take some work beforehand where you set up the, not only that you save certain event logs, but the, the time that you save them. And then, obviously, you have to let that time laps over so you have the the full event log if you already have that set up fantastic this will work uh so we're, we're basically we're looking in the security log for instance 4624 uh the error action is silently continuous just so we don't capture those all right and then for each one <clears throat> and i'll be honest i read this and it looks cool i didn't fully understand what they did but they're taking the event message from that one and their replacement strings with five and eight which is grabbing certain lines out of that to grab the data they want mostly the account name and the logon type. The logon type is uh, critical just because that we know two is local and 10 is remote. Uh, anything else we don't need because you're probably getting things like uh, <clears throat> like a service account uh, connecting in just, just briefly. So we were looking for logon type two and 10. That's why we're capturing that one. Uh, we did put something in there, just change it all to lowercase just because uh, case sensitivity will mess with how we order things. On, on the results and we want that to be consistent. <clears throat> All right, and then after that one we go in, this is him making sure 210, removing service accounts that are logged in. Uh, I can't read reg, regedit, but I mean, it works. Thanks, Colby. <clears throat> All right, and then from there, it's gonna go in for the user array we built up top and add those accounts to it. So, and then it'll, go through and define if the logon type is two, it'll put it as local. And if it's 10, it'll put it as remote. And then at the bottom, we're gonna put a custom object that we are gonna create on the fly. We do this so we have more control of the, the data and how it comes back to us, looks exactly how we want. And it'll be username, which we grabbed from the account name, logon type, which we grabbed when we broke it up uh, with the string replacement, and the last logon time. Uh, with those three, I'll grab those three, I'll return it and it'll give you the We've removed duplicates, so it'll give you the last logon of every user that's ever logged in the system within that uh, time frame where you're keeping your logs. Uh, and this just goes into the scan profiles. We'll open that and close all those. We'll see here. This was options, scan profiles. We're going to go to last logon user. <clears throat> and we're going to edit that profile. Uh, you can see the parameters, uh, lower cases in there. If you're not worried about changing to lowercase, you can just remove that parameter and it will pull the username at however it, however it is listed in that event. Other than that, it's just a file pointing to the script that uh, Colby wrote for you. And that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this gives you an idea of the kinds of things you can grab with it, how powerful this scanner is. Uh, gives you ideas to build your own. If something you think would be super awesome, share it with our GitHub. We would love to add it to our, our pool. Uh, more information is always better. And that's, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Anything you can do in PowerShell, you can now use to gather any data you might want. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.